So for your alternating bass, it's a root, the fifth, the root, the fifth. You'll notice I'll play the root for one beat and I'll mute it for a beat. And I'll play the fifth for a beat and I'll mute it for a beat. Boom, chick, boom, chick, boom, chick, boom, chick, boom, chick, boom, chick. C6. C. E, G, A. That's the root, the third, the fifth, the sixth. G sixth, which is the G, high G, E, D, E, G, So we can do a little tune now, Jambalaya. Goodbye, Joe, me gotta go, me oh my oh. We're gonna pull the p on the bio. My Yvonne, sweetest one, me oh my oh. Son of a gun, we'll have big fun on the bio. We'll do an F sixth, which is the F, the sixth, which is the D, and the fifth, which is the C. So, and back to the D, that's four beats. A six pattern. Start on the A, we'll come down to the F sharp, then the E, back to the F sharp, which is the sixth of A. So, the D6 pattern is simply the G6 pattern on the D string. D, B, A. D. Twelve bar blues patterns. Bar movement in C. That's root, third, fifth, sixth, seventh, sixth, fifth, sixth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Things to remember. Keep your wrist straight to avoid straining your muscles. Don't play like this. Play with your hand like this if you can. Move the base to your wrist, not your wrist to the base. If you can, get your thumb on the back of the neck so you can place your fingers right where they need to go. You shouldn't need to move your thumb much at all. Practice technique. With your left hand, 
curl your fingers down like such place them on the table press down make sure that your palm does not rest on the table press hard on the table this is to strengthen your joints so that you can press on the strings without fatigue when we play the bass we're not going to want to um, pull the strings so much as to put our finger on the string on the side of the string put our thumb on the side of the fingerboard and roll our finger off of the string if we're putting our, our, our thumb on the string that's okay but we should be able to keep our thumb back here and still get that string. The reason we want to do this is we don't want to get fatigued bending our wrist. Just want to like very gently rock against the thumb. There's another technique that's used sometimes where you will place your thumb on the side of the fingerboard and you will pluck this way. You'll get a slight a slightly uh, tinier sound more harmonics you do it this way than if you do it this way sometimes you'll need to play uh, one notes fast after another note you can accomplish this by using your middle finger first That's about all I know on the bass. Hope you had a good time.